you know, when I was coming up, one of my uh, teachers used to tell me like, children are wonderful observers. But y'all just keep rolling with me and rolling with the punches while I keep assessing what I think um, some of the problems are and how we can fix them. And then mm -hmm. just do my best to do the hard things because they're hard. Because I, I don't want to be sitting, I don't want to be behind you guys pointing and telling you, go, go further, go. I want to be in front for as long as I can saying, come on, the water's fine. I was like, what is that? Mm. Yeah. And then I came into the bathroom and I was like, yo, dad, this is fire. Fire. <laughs> All right. So what's up? What's up? <laughs> Welcome to the birthday edition of the We Are The Ones podcast. I'm your host, Kareem Manuel, and I'm just going to get right into uh, the festivities, the celebration. I got some of my favorite human beings on the planet, some special guests, the birthday boys, Nathan and Matthew Manuel, my sons. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm very, very excited and I'm happy to have y'all here. This is really cool. Definitely a highlight of my year so far. For sure, for sure. Um, yeah, as always, the We Are The Ones podcast is brought to you by Dr. Jonathan Bradboard and Fortitude. He's kicking off another men's work um, uh, campaign, six weeks. So please uh, check the show notes to get the link to sign up there for men that are looking to go deep, to heal, to be healthy and better men for their friends, family, and most importantly for themselves. It's a great man, one of my best friends, and I definitely recommend you check it out. Also, before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, man, whenever this comes out, our interview with Londrell and Christian Ahmed will come out and some other events. It's like, hit the, hit the little bell. Yeah, hit the bell. Stay in tune. Sign up for the email list. All right, we got a bunch of events at the store. So if you're coming through Atlanta, you're in Atlanta, pull up on me. <laughs> pull up on me. All right. Uh, all right, so that's out the way. Make sure you like, comment. Thank y'all so much. Yo, last month we did like, last month we did crazy numbers. <laughs> and I just want to say thank y'all so much. They don't tell me in hours. Like I figured out the hours, but it was something like 44,000 minutes watched. Um, I don't know how many hours that is, but it's more than one we started with. So appreciate it. And I hope it's been beneficial and been helpful. <sighs> all that out the way. Boys, we're going to start how we do. At times, we're going to just do some breath. God, so you're at home, you're at work, anywhere that's safe to close your eyes and relax, please join in with this. If you are driving your car or operating some machinery, just pretend you're doing this part with this. You can do the breathing, but don't uh, check all the way out. So just close your eyes, feel your body in your chair or lay it down on your mat or sit in crisscross applesauce. Relax your face. Relax the jaw, relax the eyes, relax the shoulders. And we're going to breathe in the nose for five seconds. Hold at the top for five seconds. Breathe out the nose for five seconds. Hold at the bottom for five seconds. I'll snap to keep time. And on the count of three, let's begin. One, two, three. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. Hold. Big breath in. Hold. Breathe out. 
hold. And come back to your regular breath. Feel free to wiggle your fingers and your toes, your shoulders. All right, boys, we're going to check in. All right, so check in. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate today Thanks. and why? Say your name, too, so everybody knows who you are and who's speaking. One at a time. What's up, y'all? Nathan. <laughs> uh... I will rate my down scale one to ten. Like realistically speaking, it would be a ten. But like, if I want to go to like where I, the day was actually at for me, I would go like at a twenty. Okay. 25. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a real sick day. Um, yeah, that's where I'm at. You got any anything you want to say? Why? Oh yeah. Um, first we went to um Fox to see Neil deGrasse Tyson. Uh, one of Especially Matthews, but you know all three of us um, like his work and stuff and his podcast. Um, uh, yeah, so that was that was amazing. Um, had a Q and A with him. Uh, you know, Matthew asked a great question. Um, yeah, and we weren't even expecting to come here. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so yeah, full surprises. A lot of um, good things happening. Yeah, bet. Um, I am Matthew. Uh, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a little questionable. <laughs> I'm Matthew. Um, today was a good nine, nine and a half. Most, yeah, ten. Um, <laughs> a few different reasons. Ooh, <laughs> 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 uh, a few different reasons. Um, Mainly one because well same thing Nathan said we went to go see Neil deGrasse Tyson live, but um uh, the highlight of that entire moment was the time I got to ask him, how do you think the universe will die, which was to me one of the best questions I could ask in the moment to that, ask. It's such a Matthew question. Yeah. To ask a genius anything I wanted, that's the question I decided, and he thought it was a pretty good one. Yeah. So I. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, Kareem checking in. I'm at a 10 for sure. Um, when the opportunity to go see Neil came up, I wasn't sure that I would even have enough to just go, let alone be able to facilitate being part of the Q&A and being part of the smaller group. But um, I just know how much we love him and how cool it would be. And the fact that he was going to be in Atlanta, like in our homes, like I got to figure it out. And so I appreciated that. And I appreciate it. Yeah, just spending the whole day just, um, you know, we worked so hard through the week. Mm -hmm. Like with school, what I'm doing, the pickups, the drop offs, all the scheduling, figuring yeah. out like, dad, I'm here. Pick, you know, So today was cool to just the whole day, do what we wanted, have fun, mm -hmm. go at our pace. Uh, and then to have y'all here on the show, I have no idea what. Y'all are about yeah, to well, say, well, uh, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but to me, when I started We Society, these are the type of things that I imagine doing, like mm -hmm. building stuff like this and being able to have you guys be a part of it. And if you want to have it one day, and if not, I have the skills to go do your own thing and that'd be we too. So first question, probably the most important question, who has the best Riz? Easily me. Okay, no, no, look. No, look, Matt. Nah, okay, look. Cause father, I know, I know he's already finna get defensive. Real quick, real quick. T, father, <laughs> father, Nathan, imagine Nathan was not here, right? Okay. We both know that Nathan is probably going to highly overestimate himself in this very given moment <laughs> that is about to occur. And when he does, we will have to sit back, relax, and listen to the amount of cap that this man is about to be spewing out of his mouth hole. Continue. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know what was just said because I imagine nearly <laughs> left the room. So I'm going to just continue on what was I, go I was going to say. Yeah. This is what so, he just said. <laughs> <laughs> easily, I have the most riz. Dad has the most riz out of the three of us by far, easily. Okay. But that's because he has more years of experience. <laughs> I, I saw this. No, 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 look, no, look. I, like the, the level, the levels, the, like there's levels to riz. Yeah. And. He's reached the he's reached the ultra instinct of Riz. 
Like, <laughs> what it, you, it just it just doesn't make sense to me. What However, do you think it is? The like the, the ultra instinct level of is yeah. Being able to just exist. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. Just being. There's yeah. going to be a lot of people that's going to talk about like playing a game or being a game. Mm -hmm. You know, women think like this, men are like this. And, and some of it's true. It's all programming. But mm -hmm. the ultimate light, the ultimate shine yeah. that, that makes things attracted to you is when you can really just be comfortable being in your own skin mm -hmm. and being yourself, having your own point of view and not being thirsty not you you're not some people try to play it cool so mm -hmm. like they're very excited but they don't want to look it it's like that's whack and yeah. some people are so desperate that they're willing to do anything it's like that's whack mm -hmm. it's like when you're just you're 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 happy either way when we were done eating mm -hmm. you said i'm so content yeah if you can <laughs> when you can reach that in every area of your life mm -hmm. your riz your riz will be through the roof and you won't yeah. even be doing anything for sure and what what I feel like is out of the two of us, I'm on a currently higher level than what he is on. Now look, I'm not I'm not saying he doesn't got riz because he he has more unspoken riz than anything. Yeah. I have spoken riz. <laughs> I need to use my words to get you know my yeah. riz across the board. Yeah. <laughs> this man is like. He don't even know that girls be liking him. Yeah. And I don't even know their names. Half of them, <laughs> half, no, hold on. I, want, I just want to specify, half of my classmates, I don't know their names. And if any of you are watching, I'm sorry. I probably don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's real, real quick. I'll just say when I went to the school uh, to check about Matthew, they were like, he eats lunch by himself. And I was like, is he getting bullied? Or he's like, no, he just doesn't like anybody. <laughs> and so they had to ask you if you could please eat lunch. At no, and week. I do. I keep up with the promise. Mr. Bar I made yeah. a promise to Mr. Barfield that once a week I would sit with some would sit with a group of people at lunch. <laughs> so then I do it. I always eat with people on Monday. Because Monday is the worst day overall. So might as well get all the pain through on Monday. <laughs> then you can enjoy the rest of your week. When I tell you, I always <laughs> No, look, I get I get to the cafeteria to grab my lunch and they're just finishing up. When I tell you this man is all on the back of the table on the on the edge by himself with his head down. No, because that's because I'm resting. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't know yeah. that the time. You know, Matthew's favorite position to be in is laying down and eating at the same time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. If, yep. Not, if, not, if, if there was a picture that encapsulated Matthew, it's this with a sandwich. <laughs> Yep. Am I wrong? No, no, no not, not at all. If if you if you asked AI and AI knew who Matthew was to pro, to project a picture of, of like just him lounging around, yep. it would be that. I um, agree. I but, remember once I ate a pure bagel, like bagel, nothing on it, yeah. no butter, no jelly, and I was just laying down enjoying myself. And you looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> you, I think you are crazy. Yeah, I you, also think you're a genius. Raw, just raw bagel. It's like you do the same thing. Yeah, y'all no. both y'all both be tweaking. I at least heat it up. Okay, here, let me ask <laughs> this. So you know you gotta use your words to get your riz across. Yeah. Matthew right now is in the unspoken phase, you know, the silent mysterious type. Yep. Uh, what do you like think that. you've learned so far about relationships? Do y'all think about that? I think you uh, had your first girlfriend this year. Yeah. Or yeah. I don't yeah. know. Last year, you oh. dated you dated one girl for like two weeks, then hated her for the. Well, okay, no, that's because I'm not gonna say nobody's names. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. no yeah, no. I, I, you know, oh, bro code. No, wait, wait. I know. I know how to. I know how to solve this without using um their or this person's name. Can we retake that? <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong with you? No, I cannot let's backtrack. We're going to talk about this. Because you're just going to say my contacts like that. You're the one who put it in your But that's phone. in his phone. You can you can You can expose yourself like that, but don't expose him like that's that. That's crazy. That's, that's some personal stuff. You know, because like the only reason I have it saved is that. <laughs> Is because it's you, factual. But so like, if it's factual, no, why can no, no, I? No, 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 Like, like, th that's like, that's like saying, that's like saying, I told everybody on here that uh, you had, I don't know, I don't know, what's her name? Um, Isla. 
Yeah. That's why it's me telling everybody that you had either's name saved as um I don't know um doorknob or something like no, that. No, no, no. You see, like, you see, you see. That would be a lie. I but he's just you. saying if you did. He's not supposed at uh, Broco. He not supposed to then go tell we everybody. We never say that as Broco. He made the joke to that, me. That's hey, just, that's, hey, just. that's Broco. Okay, yeah. okay. And now you know. Can we restart that part? So <laughs> <laughs> messed up. All right, there we go. <laughs> and now you know. <laughs> so what? What? <laughs> what do y'all think? Y'all have learned about relationships so far, and from from who? Like mm-hmm. from me? From? And maybe not words, but like what you've been watching of people. Yeah. What do you mm-hmm. think is important? What have you learned about it? What do you think about it? Yeah. Like I've watched with a lot of relationships, like with you and mom. Um, like, like we need to be able to be able to have like a non-argumentative conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like it, like if y'all are having an argument, but it doesn't look like you're having an argument, that's like we where you need to be at in a relationship with somebody. Um, especially a significant other. Um, like, like if y'all are having a disagreement and the, the only thing that's happening is yelling. I saw this quote one time on TikTok. The, the <laughs> I'm, it's, 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 a lot, a lot of the time smart things I'm going to say today are going to come from TikTok. Okay. I'm going to let you know that right. right now. TikTok <laughs> University. Let's hear it. Um, uh, the, some of the smartest men don't have to yell to get their point across. Um. So like that's what you watch. That's what you learning on TikTok. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. Keep going. Um, <laughs> so like yeah, just just like having like a genuine like conversation with somebody without having to yell over them to get your point across. Um, and also just like just like not having to yell in general. Yep. Um, like I've seen some like good in the making relationships end because not not between like you and mom or whatever like um um or some of the relationships you had like recently ish um <laughs> <laughs> how long is recent no I'm not gonna ask it's up to the it's up to the imagination. <laughs> um it's like um <laughs> now I'm not trying to talk. There no you were just saying yeah. uh I think you were gonna say good. I don't yell at them yeah, 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 um, like, like the the com- the communication like levels are there, um, and also just like like in general, y'all are generally on the same page about things. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that that's also like really important, um, to me at least. Um, yeah, that, that that's what I've been learning. What about you, Maddie? If anything, you might not even think okay. about it yet. Um, so Nathan just went down to very smart and um how do I say this? Non acoustic. Yeah. <laughs> Nathan just went down a very smart path and train of thought, which is probably very mature. Well, I'm <laughs> going to be less mature and tell more of the truth, which I've learned, which is also a bit on the funnier side. Okay. Um I have learned I need this, I, myself, am a stubborn person. Now, mm. unlike most stubborn people, I can realize that I'm stubborn. Okay. I think. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> which, might just be me, which might just be me being stubborn. Yep. But I realize that if I, even in normal relationships, like, I need to be able to have somebody else in my life that is stubborn for a few reasons. One. To remind me that I can sometimes be very annoying when I think I am right or the brightest person yeah. in the room. And somebody to humble me would just be nice to have around. Second off, stubborn people, especially with the people that they love or want to have in their life, they'll get into arguments over the smallest things. Like there's definitely a few times that I've gotten to arguments with my brother yeah. about yeah. things that I, I think- like, I would argue with him for, like, five minutes about getting in the shower. Then yes, the next bro. day, I'd say, I'll get in the shower first. Because yeah, I actually right. like being in the shower. Right. Like, so. I, I think I think just this morning, we had an argument on who whose Oreos they were. So, we were both going to eat them. We both agreed that we were sharing the Oreos, yes. right? And 
So, but, but Matthew spent like technically his mom gave him three dollars, and we and got five dollars from, from, the, from, the, from the bus driver lady. Um, but and, Nathan told me we tried to use it at a vending machine, but it wasn't working because the money was all crumbled up. Old grandma money. No, mm -hmm. it wasn't. It was. It was very. It was flat. What are you talking about? But you told me you Here said the words, See, and I quote, and I quote, <laughs> and I quote. <laughs> this, this is the this is the word we're talking about, and I quote. This money is fake. You can have it. It's trash anyway. Then you gave me the five dollar bill. Okay, sure. We can we can agree on that. We can. Okay. okay. Then okay. later <laughs> when we go to a different gas station with mom, uh, we she says you can have three dollars. I'll give you both three dollars. Go in there, get a snack, whatever you want. So then I walk in, with forgetting that I have the five dollars saved in my pocket. So I technically have eight dollars. Yeah. So this he goes seven dollars. At 48 cents on a, on a, on on a, on a large party pack size of double stuffed Oreos. Party size double stuffed Oreos. Okay. Eight dollars. Yeah. Um now that I think about it, it wasn't probably the best choice. I know, but I'm still just trying to figure out where we're we going with this. So, so now when I was saying this morning, we were arguing oh, whose Oreos, Oreos they, they were, were because I the had, bus driver gave the money to both of us, but yes. he technically gave the money to me without telling me. You can have the money. Yeah. So my, my point was, it's both of our Oreos, not just yours, because we were eating them. He but said- But it's mainly mine because I- He said and, that. Hence <laughs> the stubbornness. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I can't believe we went from having it like a significant other who's also stubborn to-, yeah. to talk Do you about, think- uh, okay. Do you got anything else you want to say about having a stubborn partner? Kind of. Yes. Okay. Stubborn people also make up or at least I make up with people I have arguments with because of my stubbornness kind of quickly. Good, but according to who? Me. Me. Well, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like anytime me and Nathan have an argument at mom's house, but really all it takes is mom just talking to both of us and telling us to talk to each other. We give a we give each other a dap and then it's and then like the five minutes out. later, it's like nothing happened. Yeah. yeah. Do y'all have arguments in my house? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Much more about less trivial things. Yeah. Yes. And how, sometimes less dumb things. Uh, how do they get handled there? Um, um you just meditate. <laughs> 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 but my point is, I need someone stubborn because I understand stubborn people, and it's much easier to. To figure out, or to under to be surrounded by something you already understand because you are that thing, even if that thing is a bit of a problem. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think you can love somebody else before you love yourself, or can you learn? Can you love yourself? Learn to love yourself by loving somebody else. That okay. Hmm. The first one. No, you know, and in my and my personal opinion, yeah, is important. Newly to... fourteen, okay. <laughs> you just had a birthday. Got some new wisdom coming in. All right. In my personal opinion, it's important to like, like make sure you're where you're at, where you need to be at first before you can try and like be around other people who aren't necessarily at that you know checkpoint yet. Um, but but then there's where like. If you don't think that that checkpoint exists for you, and then you end up finding somebody who can like unlock that checkpoint, kind of like, kind of like in a video game when you unlock just like let's say like a, a mystical sword. Yeah. Let's say you had to unlock the checkpoints. Yeah. That you know normally would be just like mandatory there. You have, you you just have to pass the level. The the checkpoints were locked, and that person unlocked the checkpoint for you. Yeah. Um. That's also something that that does occur. Um, yeah, hey, I had somebody do that for me recently. Y'all know yeah. where, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I said all the time, like my like how hard I work, taking care yeah. of my body is like, yeah, um, like just making sure you're you're solidified first, and then like like it'll also make helping other people out easier because if you're if you're not Comfortable in where you need to be, and you know that 
helping other people was like just a chore. Yeah. I think that's wise. I hope you remember that. Matthew, you got a smirk on your face. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay. Um, I think there's with the way you're putting it, there's no real way to go about it. That's a failure unless you fail. Huh? Yeah, I respect it. Every way can work. Like, like if you go through, let's say, if you're at a door or a crossroads and you have three way and you have three roads that branch off into other roads. And then those other roads have different challenges, but all of them are accomplishable. None of them are impossible. Mm-hmm. But they all lead to the same destination. Yeah. You can go either way. And if you fail, you fail while trying to go that way. That doesn't mean that that way is impossible or an instant failure. Yeah. It's just that you couldn't pass it or it doesn't work for you. But if you can go the same way while finding, while getting to the destination you want to go to through another way or the way you tried before, it still worked and nothing is a failure if you didn't fail. It's, that was really deep. And my man's about to have a birthday in a couple of weeks. And so you got that new wisdom coming yeah. in. Is that what you just said? How you feel about school? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. That's yeah, how I, I hope feel. you do. Come on. <laughs> I, that's how I feel about a lot of things. Um, It's cool. One of them. Keep, come on, Nathan. Let's stay on track. <laughs> Let's not avoid the question. Here. <laughs> My nigga. <laughs> There's avoiding the question. Then there is the simple answer of asking another question. <laughs> <laughs> My, man, My man tried to hit me with some razzle dazzle. Like we was going to get confused. <laughs> What do you feel about school, man? Um, it de- to waste the time, really. <laughs> it, it can be. No, <laughs> I, have been in, I have been in a school for one year, and this was not because my parents made a mistake. I made a horrible mistake on choosing the school, but I what school? What are you talking about? Slam. Like? You think you chose Slam? I wanted to go to Slam, yes. and then you all made it happen. Because I wanted it so bad. And then I realize now how annoying it must have been for like me three weeks in to just hear constantly for the rest of the year. This place sucks <laughs> after you work your butt off getting me in there. Mm. You know, when I was coming up, one of my uh, teachers used to tell me like children are wonderful observers, but terrible interpreters. Because you only have the perspective of your knowledge and history. So... I'm very glad that you're sharing that this is what you think happened, but it is not what happened. Boom. Boom. So you did say you wanted to go there, but that's not why you ended up there. And it wasn't a lot of work to get you in there. It was a lot of work to get you in the school that you're in now. I had to do a lot of work to do that. And you didn't want to go there. And remember what I said? Maybe you don't remember exactly, but what was? The, do you remember the point when you were like, I don't want to go to that school? And I was like, you gotta go anyway. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That's I, I said I remember saying I don't always tell you what to do. I really think it's important that both of you in your life have practiced being in control of your own lives, making your own choices, mm-hmm. and being okay with those choices. So you saying I want to go to Slam, and I'm going. I don't think that's gonna be a good school. And you're like I really want to go, blah blah. blah. And so we let you go. This time, I think I, we found a great school, and I'm mm-hmm. like, man, if I, I've been working. You finally got accepted, and you're like, I don't want to go to that school. And I said. I'm your father. You're going to this one. And if you're mad at me, this is going to be, have to be one of those times where you're just mad at me because mm-hmm. we're definitely going to try first. And then I said, but if you hate it, we'll keep looking. You didn't hate it. Not yet. Yeah, that's all we can ask for. We're just talking about it right now, baby. We're just talking about it right now. Where were we before we got to this? No idea. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So school no is kind of a waste of time. It's kind of, it depends on how you see it. If you have- How do you see it? How do I see it? Yes. You need to know the other ways that you can see it before you see how I see it. Because I see it like a mix of all of them. Okay, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll try this to is sleep. the best way of dodging the question <laughs> I've ever heard. I'll try to sleep with it. Number one, it can be a waste of time if you don't have many things that you can look forward to. Like if you don't have- the greatest teachers and you don't have that many friends or everybody in your class is annoying or your <laughs> class is, or the entire class is getting in trouble because there's a fight basically every day 
That's how it was at Slam. Yeah. 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 Um, Then school can be an entire letdown and probably a waste of time if you do have something that you would really love or enjoy doing that you could go and learn by without learning how to deal or settle in a violent or annoying environment. Yeah. There's also another part. There's also another part where you where school can be great. You could have a whole bunch of friends. You could get ride have a whole bunch of friends that also ride on the bus. So you get to talk to them on your way to school and back out. That's um, me. Yeah. You could have great teachers and your teachers are actually kind of like your friends or you know them better than you would know other teachers and stuff like that. I'm kind of in the middle. I can be totally annoyed with school or I can be entirely like pleased with how the day went. It honestly depends on how the day went. Overall, how do you feel like you felt this school year? This school year? It was definitely the best school I went to in terms of academics. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. It's number two in Atlanta. Yeah. I'll be having I'll be having to I'll be having talks with them though. Yeah. Cause he about him. Not, not not, him. What? I got an email. I just we just talked about it over food today. Oh, yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. No, I'll be throwing no, each other no, on the no, bus. No, because that, that would like be the yes, receipts no. say something different. No, cause cause that, that that would be yes though, because they accused me of intentionally skipping class, which did not happen. All right. This man, Nathan, no, you know, no, wait, Nathan, wait, Nathan. I'm not going to do it like that. I, I'm are we going to talk about the time you were? He, he not, just decided not to say anything about you. I just want to let you know before you do this little brother thing, <laughs> he was about to say something specifically about you and said, no. Nah, and then you said. <laughs> Actually, you. So let's just keep wait, it. Wait, wait, let's wait, just keep it on wait, ourselves wait, wait. right now. I, I want to. I want to specify. These two are both older siblings, so. They don't know how the mind of the younger sibling works. That's fine. I, That's fine. I do. So you showed me mercy. <laughs> I apologize. That was a dumb decision. So let's go back to the time when this man was nine years old. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say. I was like, what is he about to talk like, about? Wow. All right. I only got a couple more questions. Y'all both. March is a birthday month. Your mom's birthday is in mm-hmm. March. Mm-hmm. Shout out your mom. Ashley, what's up? Um, Nathan, yours is on the second. Matthew Yale's on the 31st. So basically the next month. Yeah. 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 <laughs> With that said, you 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 made however many revolutions around the sun. And I just learned today that the sun is also having revolutions around us. So yep. yes. um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. No, not revolutions, wobbling. It's wiggling. That's yeah. what he said. Wiggling. No, no, no. That's when they're just trying to see the star, the uh Planets around other stars. The sun. I don't, he said the sun. We like to think that the sun is just staying stationary yeah. in the center of the universe. No, the sun is not. moving around, which yeah. makes everything else move. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's wobbling. No, it's not. It's yeah, not. it's wobbling like that. Kind of. It's wob- It's spinning like how the earth spins. But yeah. Also, the earth spins around the sun. So the what, sun just does it really small. What are you that. trying to fix? Because that's what I said. No, you say it, 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 it doesn't wobble like this. But you're talking about with something different. No, he was on the news. Of the, of the, of the, he, he, he had the whole, like... I yeah, but, but it wasn't, but it wasn't about the sun. It was about the the other uh, planets that you can't see going around the stars. And that's how they find it, through the wiggling. Oh, you're right. You're right. I know, but yeah, that's all right. It yeah, just yeah, sometimes yeah, it takes y'all a minute yeah, to my catch fault, up. My fault, my fault, you know my fault, what I'm saying? My fault, my fault. I've been here before. Came to the door. Okay, now, your birthdays. Have come or are coming. What is what are your intentions for this year? What type of man do you want to continue to pursue to be this year? You can take some time to really think about it. I already have mine. All right, what's Same up? Here. All right, first of all, sports wise, um, I, a lot of people already know that what I want to do for a profession is basketball. Um, uh. I'm still, you know, open to other avenues that may open up. Oh, you know, number one is, a, huh? I'm listening to you about to say some other avenues, that, and I'm just interested to see what you're about to say because I have no idea. Oh, well, you know, since, since, since you're curious, um, 
uh, I was thinking about uh, doing some extra years in cul- in culinary school after I'm done with okay. my. I didn't know that. Ba- uh, yep, basketball years uh, in college. Hopefully, do university, Brian. Um, and also, I told you I like like just dis- designing things like games, um, events, you know. Uh, what have you um uh and just like like i like finding success in multiple fields um uh but my point being um you know i'm part of the aau team um and when our season starts i hope to win um possibly a um a um like no no loss record like oh go undefeated yeah undefeated uh bl- blank from the word for a second um and just like like find that because you know at the beginning of uh like putting a, a new team together the chemistry is like just not there um it, sometimes yeah uh, unless you know like yeah um so I hope to like you know bond with my teammates and uh. Yeah, just all that good stuff. Um, and like also transfer that to like school and stuff. Um, and like making sure that like what I'm doing is like not just focused on one thing. Like like the energy I put into basketball and how badly I want to succeed in it. Like I put in other things as well. So like school, studying um what have you is like making sure i'm not like staying staying tunnel visioned Mm -hmm. um yeah so what what type of man do you think that is or type of man do you think that you're becoming what's what's like one thing you're working on like this time to add to your bag like being very non-contradictory to myself yeah like not like always second guessing myself or second guessing other people. Yep. Um just like staying on my own flow and stuff and uh you definitely are good for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think uh, like since I since I knew like like it, like people cared about what other people thought about them, it didn't really make sense to me cuz <laughs> like Nathan is the type of guy to do the craziest thing in the middle of the mall. And then I ask him, hey, Nate, why are you doing this? And this has happened multiple times before. We have had this conversation. Yeah. I'm like, Nate, what are you doing? We're in a public place. He's like, I don't know any people. I'm probably never see them again. Why should I care? Period. Facts. facts. <laughs> this, this is facts. Yeah. Um, again, I'm, I'm, unless, unless I'm having a Q&A after winning my 12th ring. <laughs> and a whole bunch of the fans are like, hey, I saw you in the mall one time trying to do a black backflip. Or rather, I saw you at the park one time when you were 10 trying to do a backflip off the monkey bars and you shattered your wrist. You did shatter your wrist. I did do that. Um, and that's why you can't shoot now. <clears throat> First of all, it was my left hand. So <laughs> I don't even So you don't have no excuses. Got it. <clears throat> <laughs> Not gonna lie, Nathan, you just got flamed. You just got burned, cooked. You are boiling. You do realize I hit two jump shots on you. Clean ones, too. Should we bring it up? He's Let's bring it up. He's no, okay, bring it up. Okay, okay, okay. Well, bring I'm sorry. It up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, no. No, no, no. Because I was just playing a little bit. No, no, no. I was just playing a little bit. I'm playing. You know how to use turned up. I can you just shoot. Turned up. I can, okay. You can shoot for sure. He can shoot. You can okay. ball. Thank you. You can okay. ball. Okay. You call him. We don't got to talk about the incidents. Yeah. The incidents. Don't try to brag about what you did. Okay. Because then. I'm just waiting for when it can happen to you so I can hold it over your head, okay? Matthew would never play defense on, on me that hard. Yeah. Yeah. So his so his ankles won't get obliterated like that. <laughs> Brought it up anyway. It's crazy. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, this man was on the floor. I mean, bro need door to explore. Get that man a map. <laughs> Pick that young man up. <laughs> oh, bro fell into a different universe. What about, that one. what about you, Matthew? What are you working on this year? 12 years of living. I remember I remember holding both of y'all the first, y'all, I mean, like literally within the first 30 seconds of y'all existing on the planet Earth. Um, and so now to even be having this conversation is really beautiful. 
But yeah, you're about to be 12. You I, you know, both of you, I've seen a lot of changes, uh, a lot of growth. You find yourselves. What are you like intentionally focusing on these next 12 months, Matthew? Sports wise, I want to win at least. I don't really care about what the game record is, but I want to win one because I think there's like three tournaments that the AAU team is going to be going into. Okay. And this is going to be my first time playing AAU. I don't know. Well, they're our first time playing AAU. Yeah. Um, so I want to at least win one of those tournaments that we're going to be in or try my best to get at least in the finals. Okay. First, do you see the difference between our ambitions? He said, I want to at least it's get it. He's giving his. I know. I know. So I'm, just I'm, hold I'm, it. Just hold the uh, observation. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, no, we yeah. back on you. We back on you, and then y'all can get it to y'all y'all thing. He said, "Do you see the difference?" <laughs> Hush, because we are different people. Uh, absolutely, yeah. And academic wise, I want to start next year off to a much better pace because last year the start was a little bit rough. I got into the school a few days later than I was supposed to, so I didn't have all my stuff. The, but and everybody was already in the school since kindergarten in my class, so it was weird all them knowing each other. Then I'm just just new. It's about ACA. Yep. Yeah. So this year I will end constantly getting into fights because I didn't know how things went. Here. Yeah, you came from a school that was fighting all the time to the now. Was. Yeah. So now I kind of I want to start the school year off or the new year off to a much better start. Try to get the start of the year better than the ending point of last year. And I want to finish this year strong. So I love it. What do you think I could do to help you as your father this year? Is there anything? Not let me be lazy because I am quite a lazy person. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're I think we I think we're finding a good groove right now in that regard. Mm -hmm. You just keep that up. <laughs> you you agree or disagree? I agree. I think we I think it might be time to turn it up a little more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you, Nathan? You already asked him. Huh? Yeah. Uh, how I can help as your father? Oh, oh. boom. Boom. Uh, <laughs> Acoustic. <laughs> I was like, you did already ask me. <laughs> um, not taking my ankles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, just like, keep, like you, you're already pushing me to be better, but mm -hmm. like, just keep on, like, because like, what, what, what would be easier is, and what we just learned about this uh, talking to Neil deGrasse uh, after the show, um, like that's a flex. You just go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do things that are hard because they're hard. Yeah. So like, like don't let up on pushing pushing me because like, like it's just gonna get harder and that'll just make it not only the reward sweeter when I reach whatever you know. I'm chasing and what's worth chasing for. Um, but also it's just like I get to overall just be better. Um uh so yeah, like just like keeping it doable but hard. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I just wanna say to both of you, like it really is an honor to be a father. Mm -hmm. I think y'all some of the coolest kids I know, even with all the craziness. It's like <laughs> and We've been through so much. It's like, y'all know me. When y'all were born, I was married to mm -hmm. your mom. Then not married to your mom. Now, like, moving, finding new places, mm -hmm. starting businesses. I went from cooking hams and turkeys and bacon to now, like... Uh, air... Uh, uh, wait, what's it called? The, the, uh, dehydrating. Yeah, dehydrating, yep. making raw food, plant-based yep. food. Um, you know, y'all have been in African-based homeschools. You've been in Montessori schools. Now you in, you know, almost like a private mm -hmm. charter school. And y'all just keep rolling with me and rolling with the punches while I keep assessing what I think um, some of the problems are and how we can fix them. And then mm -hmm. just do my best to do the hard things because they're hard. Because I, I don't want to be 
sitting. I don't want to be behind you guys pointing and telling you, go, go further, go. I want to be in front for as long as I can saying, come on, the water's fine. Um, mm -hmm. And it feels really good to do that. And it's been really, really cool this year, um, you know, sleeping in the same room, like me cutting back so I can invest more in the, in the business and, and travel and do stuff. Uh, I just really appreciate the trust that you guys show me to like, just listen to me, to share your own truths, your own wisdom, to stand up for yourselves when you guys think you need to and say like, dad, I really want to do this. I, I think I'm right. Um, I just, yeah, I just, I love y'all a lot. And I, uh, I'm not sure what the next year is going to be like, but if it's anything like this last one, I think it's going to be really, really great. Mm -hmm. And so I do have one more question before we start getting out of here. Where's one more place we should visit? And what's the coolest place we visited so far? Canada Hawaii. or Hawaii? Ooh, Canada's a good one. Um, that's a flex too. <laughs> Over Hawaii? Both of them were cold. Yeah, but both of them were really But Canada cold. was crazy. I think where we stayed in Hawaii was what really set it off. Like, we stayed with the... I remember the first like, night we, we had to walk had back. They both had their highlights and stuff. Like, Hawaii, like the massive waterfall that... Was was like coming out of my mouth? Being intrigued just to peek our heads over yeah. the edge. I was if you would have fell and died, I would have been so mad at you. <laughs> what? Because he kept playing and going too close to the edge. <laughs> but you That's did fair. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. So, um, where where do we got to go next? What's on the list? I know what's on the list for me. Africa. Yeah, yeah. I got y'all got to. Yeah. Uh, home now, especially I just found out I'm seventy percent Nigerian. <laughs> but bro, um, bro, give me that yeah. Africa, um, New Mex New Mexico, Mexico, Mexico could be kind of cool. Yeah, Mexico yeah. super tight. Yeah. All right, and then um, what's your vote? I love food, so I'm gonna go Italy. Yeah. If we go to if we go to Italy, I might have I might have to have some pasta. That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. Alessandro, what's up, man? Help us get to Italy. <laughs> I got and all my I got a few Mexican friends that I'm gonna hit up. We got places down there. Y'all got anything y'all want to say before we check out of here? Uh, thank y'all for watching um, and tuning in. Um, I really enjoy being out here. Um, <laughs> hopefully, more to come. Is, is that possible? Like more multiple episodes with us on it, or is it just, <laughs> just like a one and done? Thing? I can, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all might have to do, delete the rest of the videos and just like restart the curriculum. Because if I can only be on here once, that's gonna have to change. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> I'll see what I could do. I I see about a guy. Uh, um. But yeah, it was really it was really fun. Yeah, for sure. Oh, then. Yes. Now I could end this moment with giving uh, um, a <laughs> joke or a, like a thank you, goodbye, normal. So, yeah, but of course it wouldn't be Matthew if you did yes, that. Yes, that would not be me at all. So I'm going to end this with one of the most Matthew jokes I have. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> I got a question. Don't How me. do you drop an egg on a concrete floor and not have it crack? I don't know, Matthew. How? Any way, because it's really hard to crack concrete. <laughs> Dog. What? Dog. He said, How do you drop an egg? On a concrete, concrete floor. floor and it cracked. And not have it crack. And not have it crack. It's uh, kind of hard to break concrete. Look. I don't know what that's what I'm saying. I don't know what, what you does have that time. Mean? Oh, you know what? I can be talking. I have another one. Okay, here we go. Then it's the last one. So y'all both can get one off. Ketchup is just a tomato smoothie. <laughs> 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 Man, it kind of is. <laughs> yup. <laughs> How y'all got better dad jokes than me? No idea. TikTok. Maybe I have a kid. No, I'm playing. Can, yeah. can, I, can I have one more? Just no. One more. Just one more, please. Last one, more. one. Okay, last one. Only one of these is making the cut. No. No. <laughs> That's please. crazy. <laughs> wow. You better have three different shorts with each one of them having their own short. Okay. <laughs> Come on.
Where was the Declaration of Independence signed? Uh, I think they were in Boston, but I know you're going to say something else. On the bottom of the sheet of paper. <laughs> That's cap. <laughs> boom! <laughs> boom! 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 Wow! I think they signed it on the back. It was treason. To sign the Declaration of Independence was to tell the English government and the king that they're going to do their own thing. And that was punishable by death. And John Hancock owed so much money. Something like the equivalent Noah today. Hancock? John Hancock. Oh, okay. okay. I'm about to say one piece. Uh, <laughs> he owed like a billion dollars to the to the crown. Or what the equivalent today of a billion yeah, dollars would yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. So he was with it. So when they're all talking, they're like, yo, we're going to do this. I think we're going to do this. I don't know. And they needed one of the first person to sign. Mm -hmm. He signed John Hancock. That's why I said, give me your John Hancock. He signed real big because he was like, yeah, man, forget them. I'm not about to pay them. Uh, erase all these debts. But I think they signed on the back. But I'm a check. I'm a check. I didn't mean to ruin your joke, but I think that's cat. You can just cut that one out of it. <laughs> that's the one. That that's the one. That, 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 that's the one. That the one. <laughs> Y'all not going to see that hey, one. See, that's the one that's got to stay now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, I love y'all. We're going to check out. Let me see. Where we at? Oh, yeah, perfect. We're going to check out now, so we're going to close our eyes again. Deep breath in through the nose. And out through the nose. Relax the eyes. Relax the face. Relax the jaw. And breathe in for five. Breathe out for five. Hold at the bottom. And in. Hold. Out. Hold. In, hold, out, and hold. And take a regular breath in. Thank y'all so much for being with us. Boys, I'm so proud of you. I love you guys so much. Thanks hey, for letting you. me be your dad. Uh, hopefully, y'all get to fight Kale again soon. I need my lick back. I, mean, we, 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 I don't we, know if you're ever going to get a lick back, but I mean... I, I need to be something. <laughs> I can't get a hit in. Geez. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, catch us next Wednesday. Make sure you share with somebody. Like this episode. Leave a comment. We see the comments raising up. Thank you so much. We put a lot of work into this, by the way. I mean, we're doing the timestamps and the chapters and the show notes. You know, the emails. We... I'm really, I'm really enjoying this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm feeling like I'm finding my bag. So thank y'all. We are the ones we've been waiting for. This is what it looks like for me. Tap in with you. How does it look for you? And on that note, we out. We'll catch you next week. I am grateful for the lessons and the blessings. Remember when I was stressing, we can do anything we put our minds to. Believe that. We open to the ops and the feedback. Ops mean opportunity. Hoping that you see that. I'm saying what I mean. We brave enough to go after our dreams. It ain't really hard as it seems. And even if it is, yeah. And we can do the hard things I'm alive and I'm well Even well. in the darkness we prevail. prevail Never put my greatness on a scale Woo. Nobody can outweigh that nah. I did it to myself and it's the payback Spinning wheels for this fortune What you say Jack? I'm different now We different now Yeah. I'm soaring high We lifting now Woo. Speaking with more diction yeah. Moving with conviction yeah. We are the ones we've been waiting for We the ones We the ones We the ones We are the ones we've been waiting for Found everything I need in me No need to look no more mm -hmm. We are the ones We've been waiting for yeah. water in my seeds that I planted just, just to, to watch them grow. Yeah. Mm.